Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. My name is Gail. I'm a registered nurse here, here in the U.S. And uh, since maraming nagtatanong pa paano ba mag-DIY sa pag-apply ng NCLEX, uh, this is a video for you, for you to be guided on how to do your DIY or do it yourself in applying for NCLEX, right? And the state that we're choosing is Northern Mariana Islands that is also known as Saipan that's part of USA right that is um, outside mainland USA but still it is USA so we are going to the website of Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing and that would be www.nmi bon.info okay so that's the very first step you go to the board of nursing website so this is what you're gonna see okay so you're seeing the website and what you're gonna do is to go here on one of the tabs that says licensure documents so click on the tab and scroll scroll and look for two documents document 2021 ito po yun nakikita nyo naka highlight and 2223 yung document 2021 let, let us pull it up I-open natin tong document na to. So, dalawa lang po yun ha. Document 2021, document 2223. Tignan natin isa-isa. Ay, ay, tagal. Pos ko muna. Okay, so... What happened was, like, nung dinownload ko siya, I click on download, and this is where it went. Punta siya sa downloads folder, and let's just open it. Okay. Para makita natin. So, this is, itong document na to, document 2021, show, or shows the list. All right, it shows the list of the requirements for your NCLEX application. Okay, so isa hit natin yung list. Yan. Okay, submit an application for licensure by examination. So, ito daw yung isa submit, itong document na to. So, basically, yung unang document na pinul up natin yung list. O, oh, bago ko itutuloy ito, pupunta muna ako dun sa second list or second na document para hindi tayo malito. Okay, let me open the second one which is document 2223. Okay, so this is the second one. So, yung pangalawang document na dun sa two documents that you need to open, Ito yung pangalawa. The second document is the application form itself. Okay, so all you need to do is to fill it out with the right information. So if you're choosing uh, RN application, of course, that's what you want. Magre-registered nurse ka, then you have to check registered nurse. And then fill out the information. Ask your name, address, city, and state. Siyempre kung you are outside US then you have to put in your city uh wag, wag, kung walang state syempre can, yung country mo yung zip code okay so local number po or local address po ang ilalagay diyan don't be confused okay so basic information lang ang kailangan so babalikan natin to let's go back to the list so na ba yung list natin ito so, your requirements, so number one, you have to fill out the application that I've shown you. Tapos, second one, number two, submit a non-refundable fee of 150, 150 US dollars 
So, uh, ang kailangan nila rito is U.S. check. It says here money order or U.S. bank draft. That this is something that you need to ask your bank if they do it. Okay? But to be safe, which is what I did, is I sent a U.S. check na kisuyo ako sa friend ko. I've discussed this in one of my videos. So, so submit an unrefundable fee. So, itong mga to, they, they go together. Yung application form nyo, yung cheque, kung cheque yung gagamitin. Certified, or uh, submit a certified and true copy of birth certificate. Siyempre, tayong mga Pilipino, what we submit is yung PSA birth certificate na. Okay? PSA birth certificate. Submit certified or true copy of marriage certificate if your name changed due to marriage or if divorce. Okay, so uh, lahat ito, birth certificate and marriage certificate or marriage contract, PSA po tayo, ha? Para sure. Okay, PSA. And then, oh yan. So, birth certificate if you're single, if you're married, uh, birth certificate and marriage contract or marriage certificate na PSA. Okay, next. Two original size U.S. passport 2x2 two two photos with a white background taken within the past six months. Must be signed at the bottom front portion of each photos. photo. Any colored background will not be accepted. So, very self-explanatory po yan. Siguro naman very clear po sa inyo yan. So, itong, itong mga to, they, they are uh, inside the same envelope. Okay? Yang 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Next. Request for your official uh, college transcript of records. So, ito yung transcript of records mo. This one should be submitted by the school directly. Wag yung isabay sa envelope. Okay? They uh, they have their they should have their own envelope, and they should mail it directly to uh, BON. Sometimes sila na mismo yung nakikisuyo sa atin ng pagsend. So, pero dapat envelope nila. Huwag niyong ipagsama-sama sa isang envelope kasama ng mga itong mga nandito sa 1 to 4. Do not, do not mail everything together otherwise it will be rejected. Okay? Another one is your high school transcript of records. Itong high school transcript of records, this also should be submitted separately. And it should be submitted directly by the school. Again, kung ispapakisuyo nila sa'yo, it has to be through their envelope. Okay? Dapat naka-envelope nila yan. Unless, itong dalawang to, they can be together if uh, they're the, the same school. Nibawa, kung nag-graduate nag ka sa, for example, Fatima University, and nag-graduate ka sa Fatima High School. May Fatima High School ba? Hindi ako sure. And Fatima College, and then they can, they can be sent all at the same time kasi iisang school naman. Okay? So it says here send notification number 7 send notification to the board of to the board office as soon as possible if any change occurs in your name, mailing address or other application information after you submit your application. Submit legal proof of change in name such as certified or true copy of marriage. Hindi ba kinasal ka o uh, nagpalit ka ng pangalan ng apelyido mag-notify ka sa kanila. Okay? Uh, pwede rin namang hindi. If you're not changing, like if you get married and you're not changing your last name right away, it it's not a problem. You don't need to update them. Okay? Ito pa. Dito sa dulo naman tayo. Alright? So, dito sa dulo, it says here, effective April 2019. So, hindi ko na yata ito naabutan. Kasi nag-apply ako 2018. So, it says here, official college transcript must specify of the pharmacology course. If integrated with other courses, it must be identified separately on the transcript. So, uh, kung walang pharmacology doon sa transcript mo, ay mara-reject ka, for sure. Okay? There should be a pharmacology course. Double-check ninyo. 
So, again, saan ba tayo? So, again, i-double check ninyo kung may pharmacology. I have a friend that did not have the pharmacology subject doon sa transcript of records niya and she was questioned. And then, when we found out, because I, I assisted her, we found out nanda doon sa related learning experience document. So, may nakalagay na pharmacology doon and we sent it. Right? We sent it to the... Actually, she already sent it together with the transcript of records, but we just uh, uh, pointed it out that it's not in the transcript of records. Nanda doon siya sa uh, related learning experience document. Okay? Nag-submit din siya noon. So, that's when her application was approved. So, ito pa. Bagong bagong requirement na hindi ko na naabutan. It says here, if if an applicant completed his or her BON more than 10 years after the date of completion, an original employment certificate must accompany the application. Hala, buti na lang kasi hindi ako nagpa-practice at that time. Employment certificate must have company seal or authentic the authentication stamps affixed and be specific to any nursing-related field within the past five years upon submission of application. So, they require... Uh, proof of um, proof na you are working and you're practicing that profession in your in the country you're you're staying at or in the country na kung saan ka na cert I mean na ano na certify or in a register. Uh, unfortunately, okay. Unfortunately, uh, though hindi sila they do not ask for PRC license. Pero kasi, kung makikita mo, nursing related yung nire-require na, na trabaho. ba? So, ang question nila sa akin is, paano pag underboard, pwede pa bang mag-NCLEX? Um, ito yung bagay na you have to email the Board of Nursing. May email address sila rito. Where? Ito yun. Ito yung email address. I-email nyo sila you can ask if they would still, like for example, if you uh, work as a nursing assistant, pwede pa rin siguro yan kasi pwede tayo mag, mag, mag trabaho as nursing assistant kahit under board. Okay? So, but to be sure, you have to email them. Okay? Para sa akin, pwede, pero syempre, uh, the final authority on this is the board of nursing. So, yun po yung mga requirements na hindi ko na inabutan. Next. Okay, ito yung mga important notes. So, upon approval by the board, your candidate bulletin will be emailed to you and you must register with Pearson View to take the NCLEX. So, ganito siya. Mag-email sila sa'yo once you, you get approved. Wala nang iba. So, make sure that you're putting in your email address. Saan mo ba ilalagay yun? Dito mo siya ilalagay sa isang document. Ito. So, kung makikita mo dito sa application, they ask for an email address. ba? So, you have to put in a working email address and something that you always access. Yung hindi ka mamamroblema sa pag-access. If you have to uh, establish yung authentication, uh, ano ba ta tawag doon? Um, Double authentication with two-step um, two step authentication or notification. Parang ganon. Parang just to make sure that this is accessible, it's not easily hacked or whatever. Kasi otherwise, hindi mo malalaman kung pumasa ka or I mean if they approve you or not. Next. So, saan na ba tayo? Next tayo is... So, yun. I-email nila kayo once na nakapasa ka na. You have to go to pearsonview.com. Puntahan mo tong website na to, yung pearsonview na to, which is, hindi ko siya bubuksan yan para hindi kayo malito. Kasi I'm just focused on the website itself. I mean, the BON website. So, when you get the approval, go to pearsonview.com. Dito ka na magre-register. Okay? So, there is a required fee. Alright? So, uh, once you pay or you register, you receive your 
ATT or authorization to test. It says here, watch for the test service to send you authorization to test, provided that you give your email address at the time of registration. So, Pearson View na yan. I'll be creating a separate email, a separate video for this. So, you must register your, okay, sabi dito, bibigyan ka ng ATT, i-email ka nila. You must have your ATT with you when you go to the test center for the exam. You will not be admitted without it. Follow the instructions. Okay, so yan. The email address indicated on the NLEX application must be the same when registering with Pearson View. So, same email address lang po. Para wag na kayong magka-problema. You have to schedule the exam. Okay, so ATT, magre-register ka ng ATT mo, may bayad yan. Okay, sa akin dati, $200. Okay, and then another thing that you need to do with Pearson View is you have to schedule your exam upon receipt of your ATT. So, pumunta ka na nga sa Pearson View, di ba? Nakapasa ka na. I mean, hindi ka nakapasa, naka kuha ka na ng approval from the BON. So, punta ka na kay Pearson View, register ka dyan para magsa-sign up ka, and then uh, makakakuha ka ng email na meron ka ng authorization to test. So, once my authorization to test ka na, you have to schedule your exam. Upon receipt of your ATT, you can choose your date. So, may, may mag, magpapakita siya na options para sa gusto mong date. When to take your uh, NCLEX exam. And that's another pay. Uh, that's another pay. That's another fee or another payment. Sa akin dati is $150. So, I'll be creating another video for this. Para makita natin kung Ano na ba yung updated na fees? Okay? So, after mo maset na yung exam mo, alright, you will be, okay, after you set the exam, it says here, your board will ma mail, ano ba? Mabulol ako, sorry po. The board will mail your license if you pass the exams or a regret letter, which is, ayaw nating mangyari to. Okay? Dapat pasado lang lagi. Test results are not given by email or by phone. So, email mail sa yung license which is din man ginawa sa akin. Kasi, ewan ko, uh, hindi na mail sa akin. And then, wala din ako na, syempre, nakapasa ako, take one. So, hindi naman ako nakatanggap ng regret letter. Test results are not given by email or phone. Official results will be mailed to you approximately six weeks after the exam. Okay, so yun, hindi nangyari to sa akin, and hindi ko alam ka kung bakit. How did I know that I passed? Uh, I knew that I passed kasi nagbayad ako ng fee doon sa, paano ba yan? Paano ko ba nalaman? Doon sa Pearson View, meron silang unofficial results after uh, 48 hours. Okay? So, didiscuss ko rin yan sa different video. So, for the retake naman, sabi dito, per NCSB and Pearson View policy, there, there is a 45 days between each exam. So, halimbawa, bumagsak ka, within 45 days, makapag-exam ka. Ay, ibig, ibig ko sabihin, hindi within 45 days. Ibig sabihin, mag-antay ka ng 45 days bago ka mag-exam ulit. Okay? And then, there is a retake document. Submit the document. Submit the document twenty-five retake to original U.S. passport photo with mail background within the past six months. Must be signed at the bottom front. Any colored background will not be accepted. You will not. You do not need to resubmit your credentials. Follow view registration procedure. Your eligibility will be changed once you complete the 45 days waiting period after failed exam. So, wag na natin i pagtunan ng pansin tong retake. Dapat first take lang po tayo. And I wish you all the best. Uh, God bless you sa mga mag-take ng NCLEX exams for uh, March yata yun, 2023. Bagong, yung bagong NCLEX. I wish you all the best. Kaya nyo yan. Uh, especially tayong mga Pinoy, uh, God bless you all. And syempre sa mga, for, for other nationalities, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Okay, pahabol lang po pala bago, 
bago ko makalimutan, I have to just go through the application form quickly, okay? I suggest that if you're doing a DIY, just always read the instructions. And if you have to repeat reading everything, that's the safest way, okay? So ngayon, puntahan natin, let's go through the application form. Basahin natin ang lahat. So this is the address of Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing. And then it says here, read all detailed instructions. If you'll notice, the instructions in here, nandudun na. Nandudun na sa isang form, sa isang document pala. Yung document 2021. So, it says here, submit the appropriate fee of $150. Payment must be made payable to NMI BON or NMI Board of Nursing. It says here, U.S. Postal Money Order or Cashier's Check from U.S. Bank. Off-island personal checks are not accepted. Okay, so, ang pagkakaintindi ko dyan is just U.S. Uh, any any uh, non-U.S. payment option will not be accepted. That's how I understood it because I asked our local bank and they don't do anything dito sa mga payment options dito. Attach two passport type photos taken within the last six months. So, meron kang dalawang photos dapat nakasali dito. So, ito optional delivery service pass results. Sa tingin ko, kaya wala akong natanggap kasi wala akong binayara. It says here, $50 for international. Ang binayara ko talaga yung $150. $30 for Canada, $27 including uh, USA, including territory. So, ibig sabihin, galik within US yan. <clears throat> so, please mark one. So, syempre, registered nurse ang pipiliin natin. Unless mag-LPN ka. Uh, name, first name, of last name, first name, middle name. Okay, kompleto dapat yan. Address, date of birth. So, yung address mo should be your city. Kung nasa US ka, di may state, country, zip code. Kung may social security number ka, di ilagay mo. Kung wala, huwag mo ilagay. NA lang yan. Email address, telephone number, mother's maiden name, yung buong pangalan ng nanay mo nung dalaga siya. Color of eyes, height, primary language, Siyempre Filipino, for us Filipinos. High school attended and year of graduation. Professional education where you completed your BS nursing. Entrance date. Usually, uh, I, usually there's no exact date doon sa transcript of records. So what I have is just the month and year. So that's, that's also accepted. Mine was October 20... 2003. Tapos completion date ko is May 2007. And then BSN program. Have you ever been known by any other name? Kung mayro kang ibang pangalan besides those that are listed, or that those uh that one that you've listed, and if you've ever been uh. Okay, so it says here, if you've ever had a, a disciplinary proceedings against any license as an RN, LPN, or any health healthcare related license, including revocation, suspension, probation, voluntary surrender, or any other proceedings in any state or territory or country. Oh, yan. So, kung meron kang naging problema, like uh, problems with, your, with the practice, then... You should state it. And unfortunately, baka maging problema to pag meron ka niyan. And if you've ever been convicted of any crime other than traffic violation. And have you ever sat for the NCLEX RN exam? Lagay mo rin dito. Signature in full. Yung complete signature mo yung ginagamit mo sa banko. And then date it. And don't forget to... Have your form notarized. Ipanot, ipanotary nyo agad and then email nyo agad. Huwag nyo ipanotary tapos email nyo after ilang buwan pa. So, dapat very updated yung form na if, 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 if
All right, so uh, please check on the link na ilalagay ko dito sa description ng video for the website for Northern Mariana Islands and Pearson View link. So, I'll be putting that in yung mga links na kailangan na diniscuss ko dito. I'll be putting that below this video in the description box. So, again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. You can post uh, your comment. I mean, you can post comments if you have any questions about this video or any other videos in this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and uh, have a great day to you all and God bless.